You tell the story better than I do. Well, I'm from a small island off the west coast of Scotland, about two and a half hours by boat. Uh, Gina was on a, a, a tour visiting the Highlands and Islands of Scotland. And it was a tour that I wasn't supposed to be on. I was, there's one hotel there and I was working in the hotel, re-landscaping the gardens. And uh, I had a very large dog then, really big. Uh, my dog went bounding up to Gina and, and then I looked over and I thought, oh, grief. When he stands up, he's like eight feet tall. <laughs> so yeah, and then we started talking about the, the island and island life and went to do the rest of the tour around Scotland. But I had taken a picture of him with his dog um, because I wanted to show my students how huge this dog was because I said it was like a hairy pony. And um, the dog. I asked my friend who was the tour <laughs> he said, oh, just send it to the Harris Hotel. You know, and just put Charlie in or something, and they'll, they'll get it. So I just put Charlie's owner, care of the Harris Hotel, and they gave it to Farling, obviously. And then Farling wrote me back, and we became pen pals that yeah. year. And he said, are you coming back to Harris? And I was like, mm, I really wasn't thinking about it, but I did say yes, didn't I? That's right. And uh, we, we started talking again, we went for walks around the island, and and then it was time for her to leave again, and this time she left, and I went down to the, the pier where the ferry goes from. And she left, and I, I thought, well, right, okay. And I went back to work, and I just, and I couldn't work. I was just walking around the gardens, and I, I was like, what's wrong with me? But in a roundabout way, I got in touch with the tour company that she was with and found out what our next stop was going to be back on the Scottish mainland. And I went down, I jumped on the next boat that came in, and I, I went over the mainland. It then takes seven hours to get over the mountains to get down to where she was. I found out the hotel she was in, and I went in the hotel and I said, oh, can you tell me what room Regina Belt's in? So, so then what I did was I got outside the hotel door and I rang her on my cell phone and we were chatting, I said, how are you doing? And they oh, it's great. And I said, oh, can you do something for me? And she said, well, um, No, I said, of you course. Didn't. You didn't. <laughs> you didn't. You went, um, yeah. I did not. And I said, oh, can you open the door? And the door opened slowly. And she opened it. She went, oh. I said, well, I'm here. I said, and he was there. Uh, with my dog. Yeah, with Charlie. I don't know really. You were still thinking of getting out of the car when we were on our way to get married. You had a bag packed. She did. If you get a feeling and you, you think, that's what I need to do, you go and do it. If you don't, like I say, you'll just regret it. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I think she meant me. Me. <laughs>